today we are gonna go back to our original morning routine which is just making a traditional berry protein smoothie if you guys have watched my previous videos you know that i make these basically every day just because i love them so much and they're easy quick and i usually always make my boyfriend one to bring to work so i'm always just like you know what i'm just gonna have one anyway but they do taste so good and it's a perfect way to get some extra protein in and protein in the morning is an absolute must especially for breakfast as women you don't just want to have some sugary breakfast cereal it's just really important that you have something that's going to be satiating something high in protein that's going to keep you feeling full and satiated throughout the day and it's not going to send you down a blood sugar roller coaster for the rest of the, of the day We're using very different bananas. <laughs> Something that's interesting about bananas is that the extra ripe ones are actually still good to eat because they are at their, their peak in nutrients and vitamins and minerals, which is awesome, but they're also very high in sugar. It is a fruit, so personally I don't I don't really care about how much sugar I take in with fruit because it is a natural sugar. And with the bananas that are kind of ripe, kind of almost not ripe, like this one, these bananas are actually less sweet, obviously, when you taste them. They're not as sweet as the really ripe ones, but these are good for insulin resistance. my boyfriend's smoothie i'm going to add some egg whites i sometimes add this i found that sometimes my skin cannot handle it so it's nice to get some extra protein and some egg whites but egg whites can tend to break you out if you are acne prone if you're somebody that is capable of drinking whey protein this is the one that my boyfriend gets and it's actually really good i've tried it personally and it is good it's just my skin just is really sensitive to certain things so whey and sometimes cheese and egg whites can kind of break me out sometimes and gluten so I have to be very careful with what I eat I can eat a little bit here and there but I just can't go overboard with it but this one is really good and it's grass-fed and high quality something else I know you guys always see me do every morning is make chlorophyll water with lemon so we're gonna do that now. That's like a non-negotiable for me. I make that every single morning. morning today we are going to make a yogurt bowl with some berries and peanut butter and some protein in it it's going to be super high protein and also tastes really good and it's going to be very fulfilling and it's going to keep you full throughout the day this is the greek yogurt yogurt <laughs> this is the greek yogurt i'll be using we get it from costco and it's actually really good it's super high protein and again i'll be using this protein the one that i used yesterday I'm going to add one of these bars in there. We got them from Costco and I have yet to try them. My boyfriend says they're really good, but they actually have caffeine in them, so I haven't tried them, but I've, you know, I'm going to the gym, might as well try it in a smoothie or in a yogurt bowl. Last but not least, I'm just gonna do a little drizzle of agave, just to make it a little sweeter. The protein powder already makes it pretty sweet, so you don't wanna add too much.
I'm about to start prepping some overnight oats for tomorrow. So they're gonna sit overnight, obviously. They're gonna be protein overnight oats, so I am gonna add some protein powder. But honestly, this recipe is super good. I usually stick to the same recipe every single time just because it always turns out really good and you don't need a whole bunch of ingredients to make them. These are the oats that we like to buy. We get those, these from Costco. It is a very massive bag, but it's worth it just because these oats are actually pretty good price there and they're glyphosate free, which is obviously a plus. You guys don't have to add this stuff, but this is something special that I like to do sometimes on occasion. I will take like a tablespoon of chocolate chips. I get the cacao chocolate chips from Trader Joe's and then I put a tiny bit of butter, put it in the microwave for like a few seconds. You want to keep an eye on it and then you take it out. It should be kind of like a, like a melted consistency and then you can take it out and like drizzle it onto your overnight oats. my overnight oats and they look really really good so what it looks like I know it's like not that pretty but I promise like the taste is actually really good to meal prep some chia pudding for tomorrow morning. It's gonna be protein chia pudding, but I'm gonna put a little spin to it. I'm gonna actually add matcha. I feel like it would taste really good, so we're gonna try it out. I'm also gonna add some raspberries too. I feel like that mixture will be really good. I have not tried this yet, so it doesn't come out good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but I do like chia pudding. If you haven't had it before, it does have an interesting texture, so it might take some getting used to. But personally, I like it. I think it's really good and it's fulfilling. It has a lot of fiber, which is nice. And it's honestly just a good breakfast. You could also kind of have it as just like a snack too, to just kind of keep you held over. So let's start making it. my chia pudding and it kind of looks like it might need a little bit more liquid um it looks a little thick very thick <laughs> but this is what it looks like okay it turned out way better i mixed in some more liquids some more milk and I also added a little bit more agave just because it wasn't as sweet as I wanted it to be. I know, really good. I love the matcha in it. I feel like that's what makes it really good. I think I'm just probably tired of my <laughs> protein powder, but it did turn out really good. I think I really like this because I haven't been having my matcha like first thing in the morning and I do miss that. I just have been liking, like really enjoying it after the gym and like taking my time and drinking it. So that's why I haven't been showing you guys my whole matcha routine. But I have been thinking that depending on how you guys like this video, I'm thinking about doing like a lunch edition one or lunch every day for a week. And I could show you guys different meals for lunch, like easy, quick. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would wanna see.
I'm about to make a shake right now only because I'm hungry right now and what I'm about to show you guys how to make is going to take a little longer. I honestly should have prepped this last night but I was just way too tired and lazy and really just didn't feel like it. But it is very simple to make. We're going to make some egg bites. You don't need a whole lot of ingredients. Obviously you can add more if you want but you don't need a whole lot. But they're very simple and easy to make and you just mix it all in a bowl, throw it in a pan and you're done. So I'll show you guys how to do that. finish a client call and I'm kind of getting hungry again so I'm gonna try one of these and see how it is. Potato in it actually did did add a good touch. Mm. So you can do these for breakfast or you can do them also just as like a snack throughout the day. It's really high protein, healthy fats, it's good for you. I like it. It's a good meal to kind of just grab and go especially if you're kind of busy. I feel like most of everything I've made is just like grab and go really quick meals. Good morning. I know it just looks like we just woke up, but we really didn't. We've been up and we are getting ready to go to the beach. Um, but I'm going to make something different for you guys today. We are going to make tropical protein smoothies. Basically, very similar to berry protein smoothies that I usually make, but all we're gonna do is change out the berries for different fruits. So we're gonna use mango and pineapple. I also wanted to show you guys my broccoli sprouts because they actually look so good. I'm very proud. They look really good and they're so easy to grow. Last night I kind of freaked out because I thought they were growing mold, but it's actually called root hairs and it happens when the root of the plant basically is reaching out for water and it's really weird because it kind of looks like mold, but it's not. Mango smells so good. There is a... Um, there's like a little, what is it? Like a phrase in Miami that if you, if you buy, buy no, if you buy, <laughs> my boyfriend's laughing at me. If you buy mangoes at the store, you don't have any friends because there are mango trees literally everywhere in Miami. And if you don't have a friend with a mango tree, then you don't have any friends. blended it and I realized I forgot to add orange. I had, I literally bought an orange last night just to add it to the smoothie, but I forgot it, so it's fine. But it smells really good. Let's try it. Mmm. Wow. That tastes like Jamba Juice. That's really good. Wow. That is so good. Mmm. And I have my chlorophyll water with glucobitters and lemon in it. I'm also going to make some matcha just because we are going to the beach. And I just need my matcha every day. So I'm going to make some now. And I'll show you guys how I make my matcha. I know I've showed it a bazillion times in all my other videos. But I just figure if somebody is new here, I can show you guys how I make my matcha exactly. All of my friends love how I make matcha and the boyfriend loves it and it's a staple way that I always make it. I thought it was recording and I wasn't. I just sifted one teaspoon of matcha into the bowl. Of course I'm using Aura Matcha. I also have a discount code um, for this 
if you guys are interested just use code youtube at checkout and i believe it's 10 percent off Sorry if you guys can hear the water maker in the back, but we're making water right now, so it's a little loud. But today we're gonna make some breakfast tacos. These tacos can be eaten breakfast, lunch, dinner, literally anytime. And a matter of fact, me and my boyfriend had them last night for dinner, so I'm not really craving these right now, but I'm gonna make them just to show you guys how to do it and you can make them at home. They are very, very good and they're very high protein and it's just an overall very balanced meal. Really all you need is eggs, sausage, and some sort of tortilla. But the missing ingredient is this sauce that I created. I made it back when we lived in St. Pete and it was just like a random day. I was like, you know, I'm kind of craving something different. I feel like I just was eating eggs just regularly. And I was like, okay, let's make some breakfast tacos. And so I mixed some stuff together and then I made a sauce and it was a mixture of sour cream and green salsa. Oh my God, it's so good. You can put it on so many different things. But it, I swear it's so good. This is the green salsa that we use always. And then you can use whatever sour cream that you have. But usually it's mostly the salsa and then just like a little tiny dollop of sour cream. And you mix it together and it turns into a sauce basically. And it, oh, I almost just spilled. <laughs> um, but it's so good and you add a little bit of salt and you can add like different spices if you want but by itself it's really good last night i did prep some sausage just because it does sometimes take a little longer if you like them crispy it's going to take longer obviously but if you just like to cook them normally it's fine we get sausages from trader not trader Joe's. we get sausages from costco and they're our favorite sausages to get there are three grams of protein in each sausage link like that's so good um, and the ingredients are really good very simple clean I usually do all eggs like that's my huge but we do buy egg whites for my boyfriend's smoothies but today I think I'm just gonna do one egg and then the rest of the serving egg whites just because I've been eating a ton of eggs like last night I had bunch of eggs and so I'm like you know I'm gonna chill out a little bit. We like to use corn tortillas. I know that that's not really a universal tortilla that everybody likes to use. You can use almond flour if you want um, or cassava or whatever you would like. We like corn. We sometimes use almond flour but any tortilla works. Last night we also added like cut up potatoes into it it was so good, um, but that's not necessary. You can just do this and keep it high protein. The potatoes were just really good. <laughs> also, if you're somebody that doesn't like bell pepper, you don't have to add this in. My boyfriend doesn't like it, so he never adds it in his, and it still is really good. You also don't have to add greens. You could just keep it super simple with eggs, sausage, and a tortilla, and then the sauce, and you could be done. for watching this video let me know if you guys would like me to do a different version of this video so I could do what I eat in a week for lunch or dinner or whatever you guys are thinking I'm totally down to do that so just let me know if that's something that you would like me to do 
but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. I never know how to end my videos. <laughs> oh, please like and subscribe. <laughs>